Access TV Fight celebrated 400 MMA broadcasts and over 14 years of mixed martial arts on the network with Legacy Fighting Alliance number 40 from Dallas, Texas. Hey everyone, I'm Ron Kruk, joined as always by the UFC Hall of Famer Pat Militic. And Pat, it was not only a historic night, but what a milestone for us to hit 400 shows. And along with that, the athletes delivered tonight, Ron. As always, they did, and we've got the video to prove that. We begin with Miles Johns and Eric Ellington. Both these fighters, Pat, came in undefeated, which of course means someone's O has got to go. Right, 6-0 and for Miles Johns, Ellington at 5-0. and Both guys stellar wrestlers, excellent athletes, both showing respect, but Ellington, didn't seem to have the timing. He got a couple takedowns here and there on Miles Johns. Beautiful roll through there. But here's where he made the mistake. Got overextended on a reshot. Miles Johns locking up that neck and torquing it, cranking it down. Ellington trying to roll out of it, which made it tighter. D-U-N done. One of five submissions tonight. Miles Johns, our number one ranked Bantamweight, goes to 7-0. Now, three straight fights in the featherweight division. Texas's own Levi Miles taking on the veteran, his 45th professional fight, Ray Trujillo. Levi Miles showing superior footwork. And Ray Trujillo, a guy with 44 fights, always comes to fight, landed his share of shots while those two were going at it. But I tell you what, Levi Miles is a guy that's destined for something. He reminds me of a young Spencer Fisher. He can fight, not afraid of anybody. And finally secures the rear choke, gets the finish when Ray Trujillo reaches for that mouthpiece. Well, he saved his teeth, but lost via choke. Big win for the 22-year-old Levi Mouse, who improves to 9-3. and three. Keeping it with the featherweights and Damon Jackson in his sixth LFA appearance, taking on 21-3 and three, Jeremy Spoon. Jeremy Spoon, the Oklahoma State wrestling champion, very good athlete, but the majority of the time, the grappling was won by Damon Jackson, took his back in the first and second round, and it eventually paid off later. Watch him crank this hard, dumping Spoon to the mat and securing that rear choke. That's why he's called the leech, folks. Damon Jackson earns his 15th professional victory. Then the main event, featherweight title unification bout, the champion, Kevin Aguilar, taking on the interim champ, Ton Lee, and this was a knockout to remember, folks. We knew this was speed versus power. Ton Lee, lightning fast, able to do versatile striking, misses with that spinning back kick, though, gets rocked with the right hand of the temple. Aguilar recognizes and lowers the boom. Here comes the hammer fist. Ton Lee is done. Done is right. Kevin Aguilar remains the LFA featherweight champion and could have punched his ticket to the UFC with this impressive win. Well, keep it here, live MMA every Friday night on Access TV. Next up, we're off to Prior Lake, Minnesota for LFA 41. Should be a great night of fights. And of course, remember to follow us on social media anytime for Ron Kruk and Pat Militich. Good night, everyone.